The Tough Guy Challenge is dubbed as the world's most dangerous taste of mental and physical pain in the world, and in the past, there have been fatalities. The Endurance Challenge starts with a cross-country run of around 8 miles. Competitors then have to complete a gruelling obstacle course known as the Killing Fields. The ponds in the competition were frozen solid, leaving competitors having to break through the ice. There are a range of obstacles that competitors have to complete to successfully complete the challenge, including lots of deep freezing water. The event is held on a 600-acre purpose-developed farm in Perton, Staffordshire, and £2 million has been invested in the obstacles. Many friends and families come to watch this tough guy event every year. Um, they're mad. <laughs> they are literally crazy. I'm cold just standing here, so... Right almost to the end, see if he comes through here. And his grandmother's over there waiting for him, and his mother's over there somewhere, so hopefully we should see him come through any time now. It is now in its 24th year, and often described as the toughest race in the world. Competitors have to sign a death warrant acknowledging the risks before starting the challenge. This year, 600 people failed to complete the tough course. If you think you're tough enough, the next event will be held in the last Sunday in July. And rest assured, there will be no ice. However, all obstacles have to be completed twice and with the added hazard of stinging nettles. As you can see behind me, here is the event finish line where competitors have been successfully crossing the line. I caught up with a few of them. It's my 14th. And it gets more expensive every year and I keep doing it, so it's something not right, is it? I'm never going to do this bloody thing again, and I've said that said that for the last few years. So, uh, bloody freezing cold. I was alright, so I got the, uh, got the head under that water. I didn't like head under the water. That was that was quite quite hard, the cold, very cold. I got nice nasty leg injuries as well. Nice cuts and bruises. The event has now become so popular that it attracts interest from across the world. It's born here in Staffordshire. Isn't that marvellous? Eh? Wonderful. A couple of little fields in Staffordshire and we created this to go around the world. And everybody wants a piece of it. There's Germany, there's Switzerland, there's every country in Europe and even Ukraine came. Ukraine, marvellous. Temperatures here have barely reached above freezing all day, but over 5,000 competitors have braved the freezing conditions. Kieran Jones reporting from a muddy and freezing South Staffordshire for Staffs Live.